Welcome back to another video. We're here in Milltown getting a new quad. Here's what's coming up today. Hold it. <laughs> we tried to make this one Johnny Egan proof. <laughs> <laughs> I broke a few ribs and I was throwing about 30 or 40 feet out beyond the handle. There girls! Food's up! What have you done boys? The hell with you too. Why bring that sound so simple? We're going up now, fi fixing a bit of fencing. Yeah. We're putting on a three foot gate for easy access to, to walk into a place in the mountain. Where we might be feeding sheep. Why driving? I don't have to open gates. We're half up now, up the mountain. We have the Pajero Jeep as the wall that says. Just go your way fine. You'll be in from the rain anyway. Are you loving life? I don't know about that. It's an all right. Could be worse. Could be worse. It could be worse. It's having a great time here. Happy old yet. <laughs> so yeah, can't beat the Pajeros. Half up now, up the hill. Most important job, always close the gate. Right, here we are now. Uh, we're feeding your lambs here. We yeah, feed them every second day, but we're, the mountain is up here, so we're going, we'll be feeding sheep here shortly. And instead of jumping in over the wire with a bag in our back, we'll put a small gate here. We can carry in the bag, or carry right. in buckets. Well, sir. To the dry ground above. So the, the strainer pole he, that's here is going to, is rocking. So that's thin deep in the strainer pole, it's just ordinary slick. So we're just putting in a crease, uh, a crease up all there now. So hopefully the ground is good soft ground now because that's a big wide pole. We'll be able to hammer it down. The ground seems to be soft enough here now. A gravelly lump. Right. We're throwing this here now, hopefully. We have a big enough hole. Hard enough poles to drive now on a sledge. These, these sledges here, these hammers, the one with the round head, you can get rubber ones as well. They're the best because they don't split the poles at all. The small square ones there, they split the poles. Very bad. We've just known good for years and it hasn't split one pole yet. And you can hear the belting I can give you there. Hard as I can. Right. Yeah, that's firm out there now. So we cut this wire, we'll strain this a bit. This wire is on with a good 20 years, but it's not great, but it'll do away hopefully another 20 years or 10 years in there. Snipping this wire here now. So as you can see, this pole here, completely rotten. And that, that rots the wire too a lot, especially if the wire is very close to the ground, the bottom strain rots the wire. I think they have new strands of wire now, the bottom strain is actually made of plastic so it doesn't rot, rot which is a great idea because some parts of the wire it might be a good bit up but if, obviously if there's a, a high lump here now like this it'll be cutting it you can see here now this is all rusty and rotting here but that's the bottom one done so yeah the wire isn't great but look it'll be fine out we'll just wrap these around there now and we'll hang our gate off here and then we'll get the other pole Instead of walking over the wire, what we have been doing, and then the sheep be on top of you straight away, and they'd knock the bags and buckets. We'll be able to go in here all quick at least, and leave whatever behind the bank here, and go in there fast. So happy enough with that there, no? Grand small gate. It's only a three foot gate, like light gate, but um, yeah. Right, before I cut the fingers off. Hold that. Hold the straight, isn't it? What about we see? Is it good? Right. Is that a good, is that a good farm? We'll nail it first before I drill my hole. I have to pull right. the pliers. Drilling the hole here now for the thing. Hold that firm now. Right. He's drilling a hole here to close the gate. This is not the biggest gate in Ireland. I watched it the second biggest. Alright. Now so nice and tight. What you said there, it is never good to have it bang on, la. No, because it will open the wind. Do you see the way we drill the hole a bit have, lower? Have it off a bit. Because sometimes 
if sheep hit half a load of wind, it might blow it. So if you put a small bit of pressure on it, and no sheep are not hanging low, open it then. Right, we are first test now on the gate, see will you will be able to manage it. Just fill them on, right? Just fill them on, right? anyway. Well, come on, Charlie, we can we open it? Charlie, come on, come on. Come on, Charlie. Close it now. Close this automatic gate, yeah. You were happy with that? Yeah. Come on, open. Right, that's that gate door now. On to the next shop. We're on the road now to Milton. Dean is looking at quads. We want to have a backup quad for lambing, he said. But they all, all quads are gone very old. We're going to Kino Neil, the man, the most famous man of all for quads. Kino Neil and Milton. Known all over the country. We get a gate, huh? Huh? Since I started buying quads a long number of years ago, I bought them all here in Kino Neils and Milton. Suzuki, you always went for was it? Yeah, Suzuki since the first day. And how do you get on with them? Oh, they were very successful. You tested them well, eh? I did, I went into holes and drains and I got over turned and everything, but I survived it anyway. So he's testing them out here now? I'm into drain. Like the horse side said. Uh, yeah, he is. There, there was snow on the mountain. Go on. And the windmills were digging deep drains. I wanted the drains filled up with snow. And I thought I was in level ground. I came at speed into it. And the front wheels, of course, went down. And I was prone. I was really prone. Think you're talking to the other hand. Man. I brought ribs in my shoulders. And my foot. I know. I came, came all alive with it. It got jammed inside the safe of the deep drain, mm -hmm. the front wheels. It took a kind of a wide drain and it would come up out of it. Which was a fucking narrow. Full up with snow and you didn't see it? How would I see it? Quad I bought here in O'Neill's. It was a 750 Suzuki. And there was fierce power in it. It would go, maybe for the 500 wouldn't go. Like with the height of power, even if there was finale stuff under it, catch it. It would tear out of it. Good it pulling power for trailers and stuff. Fierce power in it, yeah. So yeah, I think we've decided... We're going to go with this one. We're going to get the fatter now to give it a test drive. And this is a good, powerful quad now, 750. Good, reliable quad now, like our other ones. Here I am in Milltown, in Kid on Eels. I try out this quad now. This is, this is 750 now, a bit more powerful, so. Uh, uh, I'm, I was used to driving quads ever, but this is more modern looking. So I'll chance it in you. This, this is a fine quad. You can see all the new quads behind there now as well. Come here, Kevin. Yeah. Is there a reason why you sit up sideways in the quad, people ask? Ah, oh, well, I'm a bad hip anyway, and if it turned over, I'd give the gun away quick. You got a hip operation, is it? Yeah, but I, I, I think it's the best way to get off a quad quick. If off anything quick, happens. if anything happened. It is a spot, right? Drive an answer. She's a grand quad now, in fairness. Be delighted to have this now for the lambing season coming up. This old quad here is coming to the end of its days. It's here since 2012. This one is here since 2018. So, we're getting another quad today. It's supposed to be coming soon. Can you know Neil is bringing it? So, it's Suzuki quads you've used? Yeah, first one I got to the 750. Right, quad is after landing here now. Kino Neil's after delivery. Great service, fair play to him. So, O'Neill's a Milton. Not his first time here? No. no. no here you say his no. father was here a few times? His father brought a quad to me. He brought up yet. Um, and I had another I think he brought another one back to the village. He was carried. He, well, he met some other one in Kilgarvan village from Castleton or somewhere, I think. Do you, do you, I think so. Do you deliver all the quads out to the houses, Ken? Some of them, some of them, yeah, yeah. You can see here we have two other quads that we got from Kino Neil before. Uh, one's very old quad. What, 450 in a, is it a 500? And these trailers also, also from them. This is what we have now for the lemming now, for parsing out the straw, the straw bedding. So you can put it onto the quad now. So it's a tipper as well, so be great job now. He's back out the new quad now. 
coming to Barn Stoker again. Another quad coming to Barn Stoker. That's it. This is a bit of a bit, a bit of speck in there. This is more of a this is more of a, a quad for a big shot. There's a there's a windscreen here in the front of it to stop the wind. Let's see if the hands are on the call and all that. Especially if you're up the hill. Oh yeah. So Just give us a run over there, Ken of all of it. Started here to run your key like that. Most important thing is to let the fuel pump run, let it cut out, you'll hear the click. Yeah. And your green button hidden for starting it here. Just like that. Into high box, into high, comes up there, H. Let's rev up and drive off, nice and smooth. Four wheel drive here, diff lock there, simple as that. Same with you. you, Why, you uh, for people who don't know, what do people use a diff lock for? If you're stuck in really bogging. bad conditions, bogging, soft ground, right. that'll help you get out. Yeah. You have a windscreen here, so it keeps your wind off your hands, so winter feeding, early mornings. Stop your cold, fingers getting yeah. cold. Keep your wind out of your chest and flies out your face during the summer. And if you hit a bit of wire, they're flexy as well. So it's very flexible, yeah. And to like that, you've got your searchlight here. Yeah. Toolbox here, an agri toolbox. And you have two storage compartments, so if you put staples or nails or whatever, and it's you can take them out. Well, it? Waterproof as well, because when the lid closes down, it sits around over so the rain we get outside it. Yeah. Uh, full bull bar, so it gives you full protection. Really good for the dairy boys, like your cattle hitting off and stuff like that, so yeah. mine's a bike. Ideal for him. And you got the wider tires, you got the, the hyper mud gear wider tires front and back, the oversized tires. So you this know, be ideal though for high going up the mountain soft high ground, ground, soft ground, uh, soft conditions. Compared to the tires there on yeah, the road, the one there. You'll find a big improvement compared yeah. to them. Yeah. And, yeah, and you've your agri dog met in as well. And that was developed by a guy in New Zealand because his dog was up in the back one day and his leg went down through the bars and snapped his legs. So this gives yeah, the dog to where to sit. That's yeah. a great yeah. idea. And, and the more guys in for keeping it cleaner. Well, you have a slightly higher tire as well, so you're small bit more clearance as well, yeah. Say with yeah, yeah. mud flaps, clean the trailers there as well. Yeah, so you have the bigger, the mud flap extenders here. Um, again, they're made by Hyper. Um, they're very, very big spiders, and this just, just keeps stops keeps animals clean inside the trailer. Yeah, exactly. And yeah. your spider cleaner as well, like. Super yeah. job, super job. And this is a tipper. Just show them there how that works there. For example, we'll yeah, use so the straw bedding now. A GFC five on the tipper trailers. Push that lever there, and tips straight back Jump like that. Out there, yeah. Goes yeah. right back. Yeah. Super job. Ken, what else do you sell over besides quads and gators and all that? Uh, well, Suzuki big brand for the ATV to do Yamaha, Honda, Polaris. Uh, gators, like our, the UTV is getting fierce poppers, an awful lot of Polarises. Um, we're involved for Husqvarna over 50 years in their garden equipment. Yeah. Chainsaws, robotic alarms getting very big, tractor motors, etc. Yeah. Uh, outboard motors, um, anything with a small engine really, we're, we're involved in it. Okay. But quads really are the biggest part of the business and the UTVs and, and, and the garden machinery. And guarantees side. and repairing and all that. Yeah, yeah, we've to fully, uh, all our machines are uh, serviced by ourselves. We cover all the warranty by ourselves as well, like so, all the warranty workers doing the Super job. Hopefully yeah. not. We'll get a good long number of years yeah. like the other quads. Yeah, give you a good machine there, like you're going to have yeah. a lot of happy driving. The first machine we got, 2750, <laughs> 2009. You'll be staying off this one, eh? I'm going to drive <laughs> this one. You'll break it in there. We tried to make this one Johnny Egan proof. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, boy. If you can make that, a lot of people will buy it. <laughs> right. So, so, under the seat here, you got your toolkit, right? Yeah. And the most important thing inside that toolkit is, is a lower pressure tire gauge. Okay. That's one of the biggest mistakes you with quads. Fellas are pumping tires too hard. Okay. These run, it's, it's, it's on most quads, it's here. They run five PSI front and back yeah. tire pressure. Right. Because uh, if the tires are over inflated, they can't grip. And that tire gauge measures from 8 PSI and down. Okay. Where your normal PCL tire gauge measures from 10 and up, and right. from 30 PSI and they're pumped too hard. So, yeah. So, tire pressure is the key thing in a quad bike. 5 PSI all around, you're good gripped in. If you're struggling very yeah. soft ground, you can drop a bit low if you want to. Perfect. So, tire pressure is a big thing, and your tires work really well then. Have a fine helmet now. Keep away the bad weather when I go up the mountain. Down will come. <laughs> no <laughs> wind, no nothing. That's a grand light one, is it? It is. Lightweight one, and you have a little uh, sun visor as well that pops up and down there like sun that. Sun visor. We don't get too much sun here, but we might use it right this summer. A lot of rain. What, what, what brand is that helmet? Well, they're AXOR helmets and they're up to their proper standard ECE 2205, so and it's a quick release jaw strap as well. Now. Right. So, yeah. Super and they're job. lightweight as well, that's for people like it when they're not too class of four, but they're light as well, like so. And yeah. the visor, and keep it on the mind ahead, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. So, we have the three quads here now, we have plenty back up in here. So, we have two other quads, we have this here now, so. 
Will it continue quite enough for the lemming? And you can't have enough of them. But so thanks, Kim, very much. No problem. Thank Pleasure you. Appreciate it. Sure. Yeah. Come thanks. How you doing? That's the job. We have another new quad here. So if one will give up, we'll always have. We'll have the new quad. To, we have two older quads, so we'll never order quads. And thanks for your business, Jan. Thanks very much, Ken. Right. So welcome back. So this week we're going to start feeding all the twins. So this time last year we started feeding them around the same day. So there's been a lot of rainfall over the last couple months there now. So there's there's sweet fick all uh, grass up the mountain or anything. And we don't feed hair silage when we're out. They just get Crystal X lick buckets. So we're only about five weeks out from lemming now for some of the groups, more for the rest. But we're going to start feeding all the twins now. And we're feeding triplets there with a, with a few weeks already there inside. And the singles will get be getting a, a bit of feed as well from kind of maybe next week onwards. But uh, we have a few, we have about six different areas we have to feed throughout the day. So it takes up to three or four hours by the time we open gates, drive up the mountain, come back down, refill and all that. And it's roughly just over half a ton a day we're feeding. So there's a lot, a lot of expense in that now. And that's why you, you want to be getting your scanning percent up more, more every year now because feed is very expensive. So, um, so yeah, we're going preparing now all the trucks, carrying trucks up the mountain into their groups and we'll bring you along as well. So what we're doing is, the father's way up there with the quad, you can't see him there now, but we're bringing all the sheep down to where we're feeding them in, in every place we're kind of gathering them because just to get them used to it, once they have a taste for eating meal, they'll start coming in, most of them er every day. So, because if we just put out, put out the feed there now, today, and we didn't really get them, only half might come. So, we want them all to come, because we don't want to be going up with the quad now every day. So, we'll gather them all into where we're going to feed them, and they should uh, get used to it and start coming every day. Usually works for us. So, yeah, it's a beautiful day here now today. There was a forecast for heavy rain, but we haven't got it so far. Made a few showers early this morning, but hopefully... Hopefully we'll see a lot more of that come springtime now when we start lambing. So please God, because the ground is saturated with. When you're walking through it, even with your boots, it would make severe signs. Never mind a lot of sheep in there. So we're also training up the little puppy as well, buddy. So he's coming with us now to the hill now and around the quad and stuff in the field. So we're going to train him up there now. We, we're not doing much training with him. He's just kind of following Sally what she's at so he's not he's not making he's not taking much demands at the moment but we'll get there hopefully and he'll be a great dog so yeah we have a couple of hundred here now these are all twins and we're just bringing them down into the yard now and we're going checking a few feet as well if there's any lame ones we'll take them out and, and treat them we also might give these uh, a foot pad as well because they're going to be close to the yard buddy our sheep pup here keeping an eye on things so, hopefully Buddy will be a good dog. He's great interest in it, like the mother. Shh, I'm Buddy. A dog. So it's easy to know the sheep that are old or lame, they're always at the back. So a few badly lame sheep here now, just treat them at the back. Another old sheep here at the back, I'd say as well. But, um... It's easy now that they're awake, so we'll probably be keeping any any old or awake sheep down now and any, any lame sheep separate as well. Right, that's them all. Foot better now. All lame yours taking out of them. Any tin ones. They're going down now for a feed and they're going to be getting fed in the same place now up until lambing time, until they're housed, so they'll be getting well used to it now. It's so, alright. Food's up, girls. When you come. So yeah, feeding all the oars now, and you can see a big rush on here now, and conditions are an absolute shit as you can see, so places are just in absolute, I don't know, they're just drenched, we're fairly sick of it now, snow is falling here in it, small bit of snow, so They'll feed away here now. Here, buddy, come here. They'll feed away here and we'll go over now feeding more. And by the time they come back, they'll have ate this 
and we'll hunt them back out. So we feed them inside in this pin here. At least we can put out the nuts before they come down, otherwise they'd knock all the tracks. But um but yeah, it's handy enough. Here we have more of the small pots fella. Three big sheep put into their own. There's a place in front of one to put in lambs or anything. This handy is like We got this now in O'Neill's Mill Town. Um so yeah, we have the quad coming during the week as well, but we got this trailer as well, so it's fierce handy for the lemming. So, like you said, you fit three, these are three big sheep now, and your few lambs in, in the front. So it's a grand light trailer as well, you pull it no bother by hand. So that's it for this week's video. Thanks very much for watching, I will see you for the next one. What have you done, boys? The hell with you, Joe. <laughs> Bye, boys.